I, <laughs> we love all that. Uh, wonderful stuff. So now, guys, uh, today is a very special day. I've just realized, do you see this, right? Now, it's a bit, the light's a bit sharp there, actually. I'll try and bring it out. That's going to be very difficult. You're going to, it looks like we're on the saint. Remember the saint? Do, 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 do. So there we go. But I don't know if you can see the young couple there. There we go. Yes, can you see them? Time and Templar keeps butting in. Right, so there you go. Now, if I can tell you, who else is here? There we go. Wonderful. Now, that is 72 years ago today. And that's my mum and dad's wedding. Isn't that amazing? 72 years ago today. Uh, it's my birthday on Monday. 42, says Tony. Fantastic, Tony. Beautiful pick, Scotty. Did you like that, Eddie? I thought that was amazing. From 1948. Yeah. Uh, Betty says, yes, got a notification. I tried to get Ian Quinn to come on last week, but he's keeping very quiet about the Waverley. Well, I can understand Ian. He'll have an idea what's happened, but he'll not want to encourage speculation and he won't want to be asked about it but um, I would imagine he'll have an idea what was behind all that I need to talk to Ian about something else so it was quite interesting because somebody had posted a picture on a group that I'm a member of of the Loch Fine uh, built in 1931 and I think scrapped in scrapped in 71 I think if I remember uh, anyway, um, wonderful boat, and I grew up with the Loch Fine and sailed on her time and time and time again. A huge bit of my life was with the Loch Fine going from Guruk to Ardrishig and Tarbert. And um, she used to slow down uh, during the Narrows, and I commented on this photo and said, she'll be slowing for the Narrows. And a gentleman said, no, I don't think so. None of them slowed for the Narrows. Um, and I said, well, I, I, I have to tell you, I did witness it. I was on the bridge at the time because the Loch Fine had a very clever system where you could control her from the bridge by the engine room handing over on their telegraph. Bridge take control. And then at the end of it, you'd got a big substantial telegraph where you could, you know, uh, the captain could control the Loch Fine from the bridge, and then he would ring back, engine room, take control, and they would be looking after the engines then. Fantastic bridge control. Beautiful pick, Scotty. I thank you. Happy birthday, Susan Shaw. Congratulations, Scotty. Kareem, I thank you. Anthony, 10 years younger than me, says Susan. Oh, my goodness, Susan. So there we are. My goodness. So tell me, yes, so you've still got your dogs, Susan. You're looking after your dogs. That is excellent stuff. We like that. Scotty, have you ever been to Weems Bay? Eddie Doyle. I know every inch of Weems Bay. In fact, I was looking at photos of Weems Bay last night that somebody posted very early ones of the castle. Now, I was trying to think, was it Weems Castle or Castle Weems? Or was it not that at all? Was that the home of John Burns, Lord Inverclyde? So there we are. There are all these huge houses in Weemsby and Skirmley. And I'll tell you what I saw. I saw a picture of the hydro with the lift at the side. And I can remember that lift. I'm not sure if it was still working when I was reading, but I remember the lift shaft up the side of the rock at Skirmley. Can you put the light above your head off? The badge is shining too much. We're getting glare. Shirt. I could move the badge, but it might put us all in the dark if I put off the big light. I'll try it, though, and see what you think. Not a problem. So there we go. There's the big light off. Now, that'll, no doubt, take away the glare. I would think that'll take the glare away, but see what you think. Are you getting any glare now? And has it spoiled the picture? Has everything gone dark? 
That's so true, Anthony, says Susan. Absolutely, Susan Shaw. Fantastic stuff. There we go.